How to prepare for the upcoming Apple TV 4 jailbreak. What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. Good news and bad news, folks. The good news is the jailbreak should be here sometime this week. The bad news is that, at least initially, the jailbreak will be limited to Apple TV 4s running tvOS 9.0 and 9.0.1. So that presents a conundrum, right? Because unless you've been lagging on your tvOS updates, chances are you've already updated and there's no way to downgrade. So what we have to do, if you want a jailbreak on day one, is go out and buy a new Apple TV. The good news is that you can use the serial number on the back of the Apple TV. You can type it into this little service here, which I'll have linked in the description. And then you can look up when your Apple TV was made so you know for sure that it is running a jailbreakable tvOS version. Uh, so here I can see that this particular Apple TV was made in week 34 of 2015, which was August. We know that tvOS 9.1 was not released until December 8th, so this will definitely be running a jailbreakable tvOS version, that being 9.0. And chances are, even if your Apple TV was created after the date, chances are that it's probably going to be still running a jailbreakable version of tvOS, but it's definitely worth checking using this service to double check and making sure you're getting an Apple TV that was produced within the time frame just to make sure that you're going to get an Apple TV that is running a jailbreakable tvOS version. Now, once you get your Apple TV, you verify the serial number. I like to do that right in the store. Like I will ask the clerk, hey, I need to check the serial number and I pull out my iPhone, I type it in. Yeah, it's a little annoying, but it takes like two minutes and you have the peace of mind knowing that you have a tvOS version that is jailbreakable. So uh, once you have confirmed that, you can bring it home, you can unbox it, go through the setup process. Of course, that takes a little while. You can use your iPhone to set it up automatically and then just go through the additional prompts that it requires you to go through. But once you're at your home screen, there's one thing that you definitely want to do first. Don't make the same mistake that I did. I did not turn off automatic updates when I bought my second Apple TV. And guess what? It updated. And it updated to 9.1.1, I believe, which obviously isn't jailbreakable. So the first thing you want to do is go to settings, go to system, go to software updates, and then turn off automatically update. Do that first. Trust me, you'll be super disappointed if it automatically updates in the background. Now go to settings general about and you can see the tvOS version here. I am running 9.0, of course. There we go. So this is ready to go. We are ready for game day. As soon as that jailbreak is released, we will be able to jailbreak our Apple TV. Now you will need more than likely a USB type C cable. So go ahead and get one of those. I'll have a link in the description. You can find one cheap on Amazon. Of course, Apple changed over from micro USB to USB type C which allows you to connect to a computer. More than likely, you're gonna to need to connect your Apple TV to your Mac or a PC. Hopefully there'll be a, a version for both Mac and PC in order to jailbreak your Apple TV. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you prepare for the upcoming Apple TV 4 jailbreak. Tell me, what do you plan on doing? Will you go out and purchase a new Apple TV? Or are you just planning on waiting it out and seeing what happens? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac. Thank <laughs> you.